Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Mass. Today is Wednesday, March 10th. We celebrate Wednesday of the third week of Lent. Let my steps be guided by your promise. May evil never rule over me. Let by the Spirit we confront temptation face to face, and know full well we must rely on God's redeeming grace. On bread alone we cannot live, but nourished by the word. We seek the will of God to do. This is our drink and food. And good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And again, as always, we confidently ask God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all of our hearts and be ever united in prayer. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus you will give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? <clears throat> or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, Take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes, and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. 
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, our spirit in life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of these least of these commands, commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening again, everyone. Good evening, Father. As I'm listening to the news or whatever uh, about the virus uh, vaccinations, we're listening to the uh, manufacturers of these of these um, these these wonderful drugs to tell us exactly what they're all about and what they do, what their nature is, what we can expect from them, because they manufacture them, so they know how they work. They know how they work. And this may be a stretch, but I think that um, the book of Deuteronomy is God's word. Uh, who, who made us? Who's, who's our manufacturer, so to speak? Is God. And so uh, God knows how we work. God knows what is good for us. God knows what our, what our nature is. So just as we, in any, anything else, we follow the role of the manufacturer, so, so to speak. And, uh, and so we should do the same thing with God, even more so. And the book of Deuteronomy is one of those books that contains uh, God's teaching to the ancient people, but also to us, because Jesus quoted from the book of Deuteronomy many, many times. He followed it, and he's telling the Jewish people, I didn't come to do away with Judaism, I've come to fulfill it. And this is the way you fulfill it. And so that's a good thing to, to remember. So I think um, what we need to do, by the way, the book of Deuteronomy is it really being second law or second voice when there was a big reform movement movement in judaism they were renovating the temple and they were digging up things and they found an ancient scroll which was this book of deuteronomy and uh, they, they looked it over and read it and began to think well we've really deviated a great deal from what god wants us because we forgot about all this and so they got it out they made everybody listen to it and get back to uh back to basics following the role of God. And I was just thinking uh, the other day, in fact, I heard this from another priest, so I kind of stole it. But, but um, wouldn't it be interesting to think about this if the whole world, or at least major part of the world at least, followed this, followed this rule, this law, this teaching, what do you think the world would be like? It'd be amazing. Wouldn't it be a wonderful, peaceful, forgiving place to live? It'd be the, it'd be the world that that God created, the world that God created for us. And we, over the centuries, have kind of messed it up. But if we can get back to God's word uh, and just do what he wants us to do, by the way he wants us to act toward one another, the way he wants us to worship, the way he wants us to live, since he's our manufacturer, he knows what's best for us. So maybe during this time of Lent, uh, to say, let's try to get that, let's get the whole world to start doing that. Well, you're probably thinking, yeah, right, Father, I, how are we going to do that? But maybe what we need to do, and you're, I'm sure you're doing it, I'm sure you're doing it every day in, in this way, is to do what we can in our own worlds, with our families, our friends, whatever it might be, the way we interact with people, to continue to say we, we want to do the, world, the Word of God, live the Word of God, and we can change that. And who knows, little by little, it'll spread and the whole world will be converted. And they'll all come look at us and say, 
they're the ones who did it. Well, I don't know if that's maybe going a little bit too far, but I think it may be something to think about for a minute. What can I do? What can I do right now today? What can I do tomorrow as I'm inter interacting with my friends and my family and whoever, whomever, to, to make God's word paramount in the way I live my life? Be something to think about. So let's stop now and uh, pause and stand up and present God with our petitions this evening. We continue to pray for our whole Holy Father, Pope Francis, who certainly has done that in a major way on his re recent trip to Iraq, met with the chief Ayatollah. Whether it'll bear fruit or not, we don't know, but at least he brought the message of peace and the message of Jesus Christ into that very troubled land. Let's pray that all of that will bear fruit. And we also thank God for his safe return. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our bishop, Bishop of Scranton, Bishop Bambera, who's got a great symbol of faith and, and optimism. Let's just pray for him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray that the world will be converted to the word of God and that we can do our part to make that happen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all those who are uh, suffering poverty and sometimes even a lack of food, that they will be, they will be nourished and brought to peace through our efforts for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's continue our Lenten journey in faith so that when we come together on Easter Sunday or Saturday night, we will be people who can experience the, from the very depths of our souls the power of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pause for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us continue to ask Mary's intercession. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Beyond the days of hope and mystery, we see a light of faith renewed, and in our longing we thirst for guidance to walk with you day by day. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And by the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. And now pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the prayers of your people, along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from the disordered affections, 
they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things of, that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and the saints, we praise you, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <coughs> Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, <coughs> Almighty Father, we bless you, Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over in death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has taught us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the a pouring of your spirit, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill as we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands. Confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. And may he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Faustina and all the saints, and with our brothers and our sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. And this evening we remember Annette Dalmas. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. For through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen. 
Amen. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share Christ's peace with one another. Peace, 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 peace. And peace to everyone viewing at home. Peace be with you. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere no peace. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere no hubis. On his day, quit all his peccata mundi. Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now. Cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. And now with our sisters and brothers who prayed with us at home this evening, we pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. In our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan 
and all of their evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all of our, our errors, make us worthy of your promise from on high. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. If I can ask you please to bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Give to your people, O our God, a resolve that is pleasing to you. For by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. And before we go, I'd just like to mention some really exciting things that are happening, especially with our youth, our young people. So good to be able to say that. Uh, thanks, to the, thanks to the work of uh, Bill Barsevich and his technical knowledge, uh, there's a wonderful new video on our, our, our confirmation candidates this year are concentrating on service projects, how to live out the faith through helping. And their latest service project is um, collecting items for Birchwood Nursing Home and also the uh, Veterans Home in Scranton. And uh, these are young people that a video and they tell all about it and what, what could be donated for these homes, these, these people who are our brothers and sisters. And you might want to watch that if you can get it online. Uh, the other thing is uh, the Diocese of Scranton has recognized this in too many ways in some cases, but, uh, but they recognize this and uh, they see things that are happening. And one of the great projects, again, thanks to Bill and Sandy, um, the Living Way of the Cross. And of course, we couldn't do it like we always did with an audience and the whole thing. But Bill and Sandy, especially Bill, uh, figured out a way to do it by, by videoing it. Uh, I don't really, maybe you, do you want to just say what you did? No, okay, and they did them all separately, and then he is going to put them all together. So say a prayer for him. It's going to be a major job with music and everything else. And that'll be available on all the social media. And it's also, we're, we're planning on having it on Catholic television of the Diocese of Scranton. And also, speaking of that, if you look up the Diocese, the Diocese of Scranton. Um, our Faith, Our Diocese. Our Faith in Our Diocese. Dan Gallagher does this regularly. He puts on uh, 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 segments on, on different things that are going on in the parishes. And so we, we got his attention. And he was down here and interviewed, interviewed and, uh, and Bill sent pictures of the Living Way of the Cross that they've already done, and it's all on there. It's going to be shown on Catholic television. I don't know what their date is, but you can get it now. So if you go look up Diocese of Scranton, Our Faith, Our Diocese, and you'll find it. All right. Thank you, everybody, and God bless. You too, Father. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us for Mass today. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for daily Mass. As Father Nash was saying, Our Faith, Our Diocese, you can get it on the, we shared it on the parish's Facebook page, but you can also find it by accessing the Diocese of Scranton, dioceseofscranton.org. Um, follow the links for Catholic Television, and it is, uh, it is in there. It's the March 9th episode. And our segment is 11 and a half minutes into the video. You can check it out if you'd like. So uh, thank you everyone for joining us and we will see you soon.